What's better than watching monkeys being cute on YouTube? I'll tell you straight away, watching newborn baby monkeys being cute on YouTube. Are you ready to explore with us the best the internet has to give us? Number one, she's so cute and courageous. This baby arrived at the Verve Monkey Foundation, which is a rehab center and sanctuary for orphan monkeys who were injured or kept illegally as pets. They call the tiny beauty Jerry, and they fixed her broken leg and traumatized tail. But she was also emotionally traumatized because she was hit by a car together with her mom who unfortunately died. She was scared and confused. She didn't know what was going on, and so the people in the sanctuary gave her a lot of hugs while feeding her and giving her medicine. Then they tried to make her connect with the other orphans after a period of quarantine, but she had the broken leg and it was difficult to walk with the bandage, which was changed every day to make sure bruises and the cut wasn't infected. For two and a half weeks, she couldn't play with the other monkeys, but then the bandage was off. She was so excited that she walked right away. She likes mangoes and blankets and giving hugs. Then the moment came to meet her foster mom, Mrs. Gold, who gave her unconditional love. After three months, the day of release came, and she was free to climb the trees and join the troop and live happily with her kind. Number two, Vera and Diane. Once again at the Verve Monkey Foundation, a wildlife conservation and animal rescue sanctuary in South Africa, two orphan baby monkeys, a three-day-old tiny girl named Vera and a month-old baby terrified of people named Diane arrived. Vera, like Jerry, was found at the side of the road hugging her dead mother who was hit by a car and Diane, for which there was no information about how she was found or what happened to her. She hated people, and she spent the first day in quarantine away from everyone. On a hot day, Vera and Diane joined the other baby monkeys to Disneyland. Diane found a new friend, Lydia, and they were instantly attached to each other and explored all areas, drinking water, and eating. Vera, on the other hand, was too young to interfere with the other babies, but her wound was healing very well, and at the end of the day, she was tenderly hugged by another monkey. Those poor babies have been through a lot in their first days on Earth, but luckily, now they live happy. Are you having fun already? Well, that's good, because it's only going to get better. Prepare to see the funniest and cutest monkeys you've ever seen in your life. Number three is too much caffeine. A baby monkey in Bangkok, Thailand was very curious about what this man was drinking and decided to jump on his motorcycle and steal some strong iced coffee that was hanging in a plastic bag on the handlebar. As a result of too much caffeine in its body, the small monkey collapsed. The six-month-old creature was probably trying to imitate the tourist who was sipping his coffee and he didn't know what hit him. Luckily, there were people around who were worried, so they called vets who brought the baby to the hospital where he regained consciousness after 10 whole hours. The next day, he was reunited with his family and hopefully he cut coffee out of his diet. Number four, the proboscis monkey. You may ask, what's the use of this very big nose or it's properly called a proboscis? Well, it develops only in males. It creates a sound that impresses the females and intimidates other interested males and it comes from an echo chamber in their fleshy, pendulous nose. They live in the jungles of Borneo in organized harem groups consisting of dominant males and up to seven females with their babies. They sleep near water and they venture onto land occasionally when they search for food. They eat mostly leaves, seeds, unripe fruits, but occasionally they'll consume insects as well. Males can reach 50 pounds and females about half that weight, putting them among the largest of Asia's monkeys. They swim with agility because they've evolved webbed feet and hands and thus escape the crocodiles, which are some of the main predators. Sometimes they leap from trees and hit the water with a comical belly flop. The clearing of rainforest of Borneo endangers their species, making them travel long distance to find food. Jaguars and some natives consider them a delicacy. Luckily, now they're protected. Number five, the golden snub-nosed monkey. This is the Old World Monkey in the subfamily Columbinae. These cute creatures live in the mountainous forest of China about 1,500 to 3,400 meters above sea level. Because of this altitude, snow often occurs, and so it is developed as it can withstand colder average temperatures better than any other non-human primate. The females are half the size of the males, and the newborn usually hang beneath their abdomen when they walk or climb. The babies have light brown hair, appearing white in the sunlight, turning gradually to reddish gold. They form groups of five to 600 individuals, basically with one male, multiple female units, but some scientists came to conclude there are multi-male and multi-female societies. 
They also exist all male units which many bachelors live together. Now males are mostly solitary while females tend to socialize with one another more than the males or juveniles. Female snub-nosed monkeys will deliberately have affairs with all resident males in the surrounding area behind the harem master's back, which in turn creates paternity confusion and means newly established alpha males will not risk killing what could be their own offspring. In turn, females will have more reproductive success and less infant losses. They form sleeping custards for warmth and safety from predators. Aww. Hey, if you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to check out our other videos on our channel, just because there's a lot of cute, interesting, funny, and informative stuff there. But while you're still there, go ahead and give this video your biggest like. Now let's continue. Number six, baby monkeys in orphanage. Baby monkeys who have lost their moms are helped by people to get back to life in the wild and socialize with their own kind. One of the baby monkeys was saved five months ago and the other's mom was hit by a car and was very scared and dehydrated. Now they both live in this orphanage to try and recover. As good as it is to make friends with cats and dogs though, they had to learn to socialize with their own kind and learn how to be a monkey. Jackie was a new addition to the house. She had also lost her mom and was very traumatized. But when they met, she showed how to play and climb very quickly. There's no better way to learn than from each other. Now they can grow up together and when they're older, they'll join the center's monkey group. Seven, tiny finger monkeys. There's many differences in the lives of these tiny thumb-sized monkeys compared to the pets of the rich Chinese. They tend to be monogamous. They live in groups of two, mostly male, female, and their offspring. The females give birth twice a year and normally produce twins each time. When the babies are born, the family may feature an additional male to help them with the newborn. Juveniles also help with the babies because when they live in the wild, only one-fourth of babies reach maturity. They can rotate their heads up to 180 degrees, and they can jump up to 16 feet to avoid predators. They shout also, group attack, or freeze in place. Because of their size and cute faces, many people like to take them home as pets, but it is normally forbidden in many states or countries. They are intelligent animals, but also wild and can be aggressive and bite or throw their feces when they're angry. Not that cute. Number eight, Funky Monkey. Cotton top Tamarins of Colombia have incredible bright white hairdos and they're all grooming each other, forming strong social bonds with their group. They weigh less than 0.5 kilograms and can live up to 24 years. And like other monkeys, they're an important seed disperser in the tropical ecosystem. They are very intelligent, altruistic, and cooperative. Males and females are of the same size with black faces and long white hair down to their shoulders. In a group, there's a dominant pair, typically monogamous, and the other members are engaged in cooperative breeding. The dominant female generally has authority over the breeding male and gives birth to non-identical twins, so they need the help of others to raise them, feed, protect, comfort, and play with them if she gives birth twice a year. Once the infants reach sufficient age, they begin contributing to the group. They produce 38 distinct sounds, including bird-like whistles, soft chirping sounds, high-pitched trilling, and staccato calls for conforming to grammatical rules, such as C calls are used while finding food and D calls with eating. Using this range of vocalizations, the adults may be able to communicate with one another about intention, thought process, and emotion, including curiosity, fear, dismay, playfulness, warning, joy, and calls to young. Number nine, the pygmy marmoset. They weigh less than an apple, just over 100 grams, and they can leap up to 30 times their body length from tree to tree. Pygmy marmosets are the smallest monkeys and one of the smallest primates in the world. They can rotate their heads 180 degrees and leap up to five meters between branches and can be found between ground level and about 20 meters up into the trees. They eat fruits, nectar, and tree gum by gnawing holes in the bark of trees and also wait for insects, especially butterflies that come attracted to the holes. They live in a group of up to nine members and the young remain for two consecutive birth cycles. There's many similarities between the development of vocalization in infant pygmy marmosets and speech in infant humans. Their siblings help the babies learn parental skills. Some female members of the group may put off their reproduction using a temporary cessation of ovulation so as to help the offspring of others. Because the females give birth to twins normally, 
They need more than one father to carry them on their back. So we see polyandry, which means more than one male taking care of the newborn and females that don't have to carry their babies and have more freedom to move to feed, and they have the right to feeding priority even when they don't have offspring. They're threatened by the habitat loss and pet trade where legal, says the USK RSPCA, they should not be considered as pets in the accepted sense of the word. They're wild, undomesticated animals that cannot be house trained or fully tamed. So, are you ready to see our last cute baby monkey for the day? Well, beware because this much cuteness might just break you. Hey, while you're preparing for this cute bomb, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then turn on that notification bell. You know you want to. The monkeys want it too. Come on, do it. Ready? Let's see our last beauty. Number 10 is the snow monkey. The Japanese macaque is also known as the snow monkey and lives in Japan in areas covered with snow for months each year like no other primate. The males weigh more than the females, and those who live in colder climates weigh more than those who live in the hotter areas. They can cope with temperatures as low as minus 20 Celsius because of their well-adapted to cold, thick coat. Females stay in their natal group forever while males move out and sometimes live in an all-male group before they move to another. The females groom each other, mostly the ones related to them, and when they groom unrelated ones, they tend to form social relationships. Even in the big groups, females only groom a limited number of other females and sometimes males. Mothers pass their grooming techniques to their offspring. Females mate with an average of four mates per season and they decide where the mating will take place and they're also generally bisexual. Males and females take care of the babies, even not their own. Some wash their food and then season it in salty water. They bathe together in hot springs and rolling snowballs for fun. They even have different accents, like humans. It is featured in the art of Japan in proverbs, religion, and folklore. Cute and straight out of a fairy tale. The best combination ever. Well, there you have it for today. These were the top 10 cutest newborn baby monkeys. Now we want to hear from you. Which one was your absolute favorite from the list? Let us know in the comments. And until next time, stay safe and stay cute.